come out this evening to Howe Hill try to get some shots of the setting sun however the sun's getting a little um well I don't know it might end up uh, missing the cloud base or it might really glow through the cloud base but there's a bit of cloud up there and it's might not work don't know I'm gonna give it a go It looks like there's a, a glow coming in quite fast up there. I don't think this exposure is capturing it. But, uh... Well, earlier on in the day, I was uh, down at uh, Thurn and uh, saw a couple of higher boats going off thinking they were the last ones out this year but there's another one just here as well just pulling in for the evening so just ex just the exposure shooting on an Osmo pocket here just noticed that my microphone isn't actually attached properly so a bit of scraping going on sorry there you go let's attach that a bit better so that's a more accurate reflection if you like, of, uh, of what the sun's doing at the minute. It's quite a nice glow there, but still not sure it's quite what I want. I'm going to come down to the uh, other side of the windmill down here and see whether I can capture the, the glow of the sun behind the mill. That's a more interesting shot there I think. So we're gonna work with something that gets the the mill the light and the curve of the river there. Let's see what happens. Well, the sun's dipping quite quickly as it tends to do. There's an interesting shot or two there, I hope. Obviously I haven't seen them on a big screen yet. I'm running with a kit lens just the uh, 14 to 42 on a micro four thirds so that's a, a 28 to 85 approximate conversion fish just jumped out uh, got some fishermen around me and a higher boat uh, just over here that's pulled up um, not expecting to see many because uh, we're in lockdown now so they need to be finishing their holidays according to law but hey who's interested in the law right now Sorry, did I say that? Lockdown 2. Hmm. Number of people out. You can possibly hear the screaming at the background. Who knows? Right. A couple of swans just come in to view. Fire off a couple of frames. I'm doing this handheld. I've got the tripod with me. But decided not to to use it just for speed really because you need to work quite fast with a slight vanishing excuse me In the space of just a few minutes the sun's virtually vanished there's a bank of cloud over there and uh, it's pretty much gone behind it there's, uh, there's still some color left
Not sure now. It's, um, well, the light's kind of faded. Kind of mist coming in. Um, mist is quite interesting. Don't know whether it's good enough to capture it because it's quite low and the, uh, uh, the reeds and such are quite high over there. That further away, you might be able to see it. You probably can't, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's, it's one of those times. Oh, do, do I stay or do I go? Yeah. Um, it's not cold, so I can stay here quite happily for a bit. I don't think there's a lot more to be had here than this evening, but uh, I'm going to stick around for a little longer. We'll to give it, a, give it a try. There's a, there's a, there's nothing in that direction in terms of uh, uh, sky interest. Uh, so there's no point in walking past the, uh, the mill further down. Um, yeah, it's basically a silhouette of the mill uh, against an interesting sky with the reflection in of the river as. Uh, as you can, to a degree, see behind me. Not sure. Do I set up on the tripod and maybe try to get a long exposure? Not that there's any real movement. The movement's in the water. Uh, so I might get a nice bit of blur on the water. Um, but um, there's hardly any cloud movement. Give it a go, I suppose. So we can manage a 10 second exposure here at f22. It's, a, it's probably not going to turn out too good, but here we go. Well, it's uh, quarter to five now. And, uh, we're losing the light, although it doesn't look like it from the, the, this exposure, I know, but uh, it is getting getting dark and you know, quite backlit here. Uh, so it's not exposing terribly well if I come around this way. And, um, see me a little better. Not that that's an advantage, I think, to you. But, um, I think it's probably time to go. I'm getting long exposures, but I don't. There's not nearly enough movement in the clouds and such to really make that uh, that work. As I say long exposure, I'm getting kind of 10, 13 seconds or so, and uh, the, the clouds aren't moving fast enough to uh, take advantage of uh, those kind of exposures. And the ripples in the water just uh, kind of defocus the uh, the reflection a little. So um, I, I think it's time to. Uh, Time to head off.